Overview Data Solution is bringing us the first ever Edu Revolution Africa Conference outside of the capital, um, Greater Accra. So for us in the Western region, I'm sure we are really blessed. Nobody wants to be told they are wrong. Are you with me? So in a situation like this, where exactly what the young lady said, the young lady, my castle, I said, who is the first president of Ghana? I said, uh, Jomo Kenyatta. So what do you say? Yes, Jomo Kenyatta is the president of Kenya. The first president, president of Kenya. You get it? Okay, let's do it again. Madam, Madam, Jomo Kenyatta. Have yes. a good Mr. was the first president of Kenya. But start that with, we won that. No, no, keep it short. Start with yes. 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 Jomo Kenyatta was the first president of Kenya. Good. Give the young lady a hand. Very good. Do you get it? That's called the yes rule. Now, what that does is that you validate that human being for participating in the session. The chances are. There's someone else in the classroom who probably believes the same thing. But you want them to save face. You get it? So that's it. So that's called the yes rule. In the next coming weeks and months, we'll also be announcing plans and strategies for creating the Western Regional Innovation Hub and an information technology data center that will bring private and public partners together. I plan to transform Western Region into an information technology leader in Ghana. We all need to make it our personal goal to digitize our schools and to produce future leaders of our nation. I would like to congratulate Jeff and InfoView Data Solution for this great initiative. From what I've read and seen from InfoView, I believe that your school is in great hands by working with them. For those of us who don't know what Montessori is about, Montessori actually is someone's name. She was one of the first female doctors in Italy. And she was, she was put in a ward to work with kids from the poor side of the town. She later on worked with children with who had Let's say at that time they were calling them mad kids and different, different names. And she worked with them. By the time they, she went through the, her curriculum with them, they sat the national exams and they passed. They can dress, they could do everything that before they were not able to do. Later on, people heard of what Montessori had done. And so they started adopting the Montessori system. And now Montessori is everywhere. The phone that you are carrying is really a mini computer. We created an application that you can use to manage everything within your school. If you want to talk about payroll, do you know you can do all your payroll on your phone for every staff and send the GRA statutory report and get it printed to, for GRA? That's possible. You can get your staff attendance tracking, what time your staff is reporting to school. You can do that. You can get your reports out of that. You can get your inventory, how to manage your inventory. All of that can be done. Yeah, this was a very fine event. I enjoyed it personally. Uh, the solution we had the suggestions for our schools practically for my school is the best. Looking at safety and security, uh, looking at information management, that is data, looking at checking attendance, then you can talk about the InfoView Sims is the best. I have enrolled and I recommend everyone to also enroll. In a nutshell, the program has been good. I've liked everything about the Montessori and the inclusion and then 
I mean data, how to manage data so that tomorrow's children will not come like I go to my former school and I, I don't have any information because my headmaster passed and I cannot get what I want, you know. So I think uh, we are evolving and we, we all have to get involved. Since we have gotten to the education, we have to make a change and we have to revolutionize and things will augur well for all of us. Well, a program well organized, I must say, and then for me, it's very eye an eye-opening for me. With the, with the way the world is going, everything is paperless. So I think it's an opportunity for us to all, you know, get involved with this technology stuff, so that we can also, you know, enlarge our school and territory. It makes everything easier for us in school, school fees and everything. Why? So for me, coming here today really helped me, and I'm definitely going to get something to help my school get better. Ecobank Ghana Limited, um, partnering with InfoView. Um, for us, it's really an exciting thing um, and, ex and an exciting journey to go on um, because for Ecobank, we are um, a digital bank. InfoView, as we know them to be, are a fintech company. So partnering with them really for us is um, more or less, would say, partnering with ourselves, just another department. And both of us are focused on one thing which is seeing a change in the educational sector. So we are really excited um, to partner with them. Um, for us at Ecobank, any new thing that happens to be in the space of technology is something that we'll jump on, we'll latch on, and um, we'll go on with them. So that's why um, we are with um, InfoView. We are in it not for the short term, um, we are in it for the long term not for our benefits, not for their benefits alone, but I believe it's for our mutual benefits and ultimately the benefits of the schools that um, we are here to serve. So with these conferences, it actually makes make people aware that this is what we have, this is where you go to, this is how a proper, if for example you want to have a Montessori school, how a proper Montessori school should look like, the ethos, the age groupings, the different things and also to make up their mind if you want to have a hybrid system fine if you want to do GES fine if you want to do Montessori fine so we as InfoView our objective and what we are trying to do is that we are trying to create an environment a digital environment where schools can easily provide information to parents and when I say information we're talking about bills we're talking about reports we're talking about um, any notice we're talking about the class uh, school calendar the class schedule, the school canteen menu, all these are information parents need to really play a role in the child's life in the school. But if the parents it doesn't have a lot of information about the, their child in the school, the parent really cannot play an active role in the education process of their child. They only rely on the bits and pieces, which is at the end of the term, the information that they get. And at that time, it's really too late for the parent to be proactive in playing a role in the child's education life. But in the 21st century where you can sit here and communicate with someone in China or sit here and communicate with someone in Kumasi and even have a video communication, we believe that schools need to evolve and we want to be the enabler. InfoView is the enabler in making sure that schools can evolve, transition from the 1930s to the 21st century because the paper way of doing things, everything paper, is the 1930s. We are in the 21st century. It's a digital economy. It's a digital world where you pay for things through Momo. So if your school, you cannot even accept Momo as a school fees payment, or your school, you cannot communicate to your parents digitally, then I'll tell you something that within the next 10 years, your school brand will disappear.